I thought it best we meet alone, Edward. I know what you're doing, Crane. Talking to me away from Cobblepot and the others. You're appealing to my ego. Is it working? Ha! I don't have an ego, Crane. I'm far too brilliant. Especially for the likes of you. Of course, Edward. But nonetheless, we have a mutual foe. A foe I could vanquish with but one of my cerebral lobes intact. Yet, here you are, proposing an alliance that would let you bask in my luminescent glory. But what if you failed, Edward? What if, by some underhand means, of course, the Batman were to humiliate you again? Absurd! I know, Edward, it's a frightening thought. How many failures can even your enviable reputation withstand? But... If the bat were distracted and tugged in too many directions by too many threats, why, then you would be assured of the upper hand. I, uh, I don't know how to respond to your ridiculous insinuations, so all I will say is this. Tell me which day you plan to attack Gotham, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, I will coincidentally put my entirely separate and superior master plan into effect. How kind, Edward. I will keep my fingers crossed. Who is this? Ah, Miss Kyle. You have the privilege of conversing with me, the Riddler, Gotham's premier supervillain and intellectual colossus. And I'm honored, Eddie. Really? Bye. Wait, wait. I'll get to the point. I find myself in need of your unique skill set, your street smart, as your intellectually challenged kind adorably calls them. I'm going to adorably hang up on you, Eddie. No, 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 listen. I need something acquired, something valuable. Sorry, Eddie. It's just that I have all these clients who aren't insecure little power-mad man-children. <sighs> Fine. You may name your fee. Information. Ah, the most valuable commodity of all. Scarecrow's planning something involving Batman. I might be furnished with the absurd particulars of his ridiculous scheme. <laughs> I'll get you what you want, Eddie, if you tell me what I need to know. <sighs> right, okay. Riddler bot memory formatted. Adaptive AI algorithms uploaded, joints oiled. Now, <clears throat> give my creation life! Ah, damn it! Useless hunk of dead metal. Do you want to become a semi automated theme park mannequin? Because that's the fate in store for you! Problem, Eddie? Ah, Miss Kyle. <laughs> You're here! And you already have company. Almost, anyway. Did you lose your friend's battery? Why, you. yes. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, anyway, I'm depleted. And always compensating for it, too. <laughs> oh, Catwoman, your wit never ceases to... occur. Now, I need you to procure a set of rechargeable energy cells for me. Stag Enterprises' Nimbus Tech will work. I'm sure Wayne Enterprises has an equivalent. Got it. It's been a pleasure, as always, Eddie. Except for the talking to you part. Wait! At least take a glimpse at what it is you're supposed to be stealing. There, in the robot's chest cavity. Go on, it won't bite. Eddie, there's no... <laughs> What the hell? Eddie, make this thing let me go. Batteries? You think I needed batteries? Oh, Miss Kyle, you underestimated my bespoke power supply innovations, and that was your downfall. What is this, Eddie? This is... you are... Bait. You see, I've identified what I believe to be some sort of attachment between you and Batman. The base nature of this attachment, quite frankly, disgusts me. But it will bring him here. You'll regret this! <laughs> the world's greatest detective does not frighten me! He's not the reason you'll regret it. Invest in better guards, Crane. And you should invest in some manners. 
Who are you? Another pretender to the cow? Call me the Ark of Night. <laughs> Another child of the asylum set free. Tell me, what tortured soul cowers behind that mask? It doesn't matter who I am, I'm here because we want the same thing. Batman dead. <laughs> you made short work of my guards, but Batman is a very different proposition. One for which I am fully prepared. Those guards I killed, I could replace them with an army. An army trained in his methods. Trained by whom? Me. And what would you know about Batman? His fear. Very well. You have my attention, Arkham Knight. Three billion is a significant investment. People are willing to pay. And what exactly would we be getting for our money? Tanks, drones, a highly trained infantry. You think you can just bring tanks into Gotham? We hold a city ransom. We create panic and chaos. A distraction. As they run scared, we emerge, take over his habitat. Every rooftop, road, and back alley. We draw him out of the shadows and chip away until he has nowhere left to hide. And no one left to hide behind. If you want him dead, why come to me? You seem capable. He needs to suffer. I suffered, so he will too. So, it's personal. Well, there are many in this city with a gift for causing harm. Not that kind of pain. The real kind. Uh, you want him afraid. I've seen what your toxin does. I want that. You're well informed about all of us, Arkham Knight. But you're wrong about something. I don't want Batman dead. I want him unmade. He's better off dead. Kill him and you martyr him. You make him a legend. But break him, humiliate him, terrify him, and hold him up for the world to see. Then he's nothing but a man. Look, you can do what you want, Crave, but when you're done, I will kill him. Very well, but know this. It will be an act of mercy when you do. Damn it! Sorry, sorry. Dropped it. Jittery hands. I keep thinking someone's gonna barge through the door at any moment. The scotch probably didn't help. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? My name is Alex Sartorius, Dr. Alex Sartorius, and this, uh, well, I suppose this is my confession. Twenty years ago, I went into business with my friend and business partner, Simon Stagg. Oh, it, it feels strange talking into this thing. I've never been one for the limelight, never cared for attention. He was the businessman, I was the scientist. Stagg Enterprises was a fine name by me. And we did fine work, too. I want you to remember that. Whatever comes out. The cure for the Tugela virus. That was us. The treatment for Collier syndrome. That was us, too. No. Not us. That was me. I never cared about the financials. Of course, I never needed to. Don't you worry, Alex. Simon used to say, and I believed him believed him right up to the day he told me there was a big gaping hole where next year's budget was supposed to be. I wonder now, of course, if he was lying. I mean, can you blame me? If, if he had just come out and asked me, I'd probably have said no. I, I, I'm no bleeding heart, but if there'd been no need... Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? These anti-anxiety meds, they, 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 they rattle your brain. What I'm trying to say is that day, the day we ran out of money, that's when the weapons contracts began. Hello? <laughs> yes, yes, hello. 
I am in a better mood today. I have discovered a pharmaceutical cure for paranoia, you see. You put the anti-anxiety pill straight into the whiskey bottle and you swirl it around. <laughs> oh no. Uh, where was I? Oh yes! Chemical weapons. Biological weapons. Oh, wonderful thing. We went into business to save people, but it turns out that killing them paid better. Not well enough for Simon, though. That greedy, grasping parasite, that bastard! There, there, there are many buyers for this stuff, you see. They're not, not legal buyers, anyway. So, you had to be competitive. But how can you do research quickly when human testing is illegal? Not to mention life-threateningly dangerous, unethical, unfathomably risky. Well, well, it's obvious. You do human testing anyway! <laughs> he, he never, he never told me where they came from. Just that no one would miss them. You think I want forgiveness? You, you think this is some desperate mea culpa? I was raised Catholic, but I chose science over faith. This is not about me, this pathetic, drunken confession. I struck my bargain. Let him threaten me into silence while I worked on my vaccines, my cures. So don't judge me, whoever you are. Whichever junior reporter at the Gotham Herald was lucky enough to press the play button on this device, no! This isn't about me. This is about him. He's gotten worse. We're a pharmaceutical company in name alone these days. It's all weapons. Some to the army, even more to the people the army's fighting. And now Scarecrow's here? I know what they're doing. They're taking my technology, my mass inoculation device, and they're turning it into something twisted, something wrong. Well, I won't let that happen. I won't turn a blind eye anymore. This confession will be my epitaph, the proof that I was not content to weigh the good I've done against the evil done by him anymore. If you were listening to this- Dr. Sartorius, Mr. Stagg would like a word. Oh, come in, but slowly, and keep your hands up! 
thank you for agreeing to see me, Miss Quinzel. Well, you said you know something about Mr. J. Start talking. Well, it's not every day I have a gun pointed at my face. It's rather exciting, isn't it? You gotta go two seconds before I blow your wrinkly old brains out. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm just remembering an old joker. Oh, sorry, I meant joke. I don't listen to jokes no more. What's red and flat? A baby under an anvil. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't the policeman catch the thief? Because his legs have been cut off. <laughs> A father takes his family to the amusement park. They all die in a car crash on the way home. <laughs> You're real funny. You know, I ain't laughed like that since. I miss my pudding. Oh, poor Harley. I've missed you too. Patient interview, October 15th. Please state your name. Henry. Henry Adams. What is this place, Batman? Where am I? You're here for your own safety, Henry. You could be sick. They're sick? I've never felt better in my whole life. You're sure? No mood swings, behavioral changes. Absolutely not. Those people in the other cells, who are they? Their blood was contaminated, like yours. What? I mean, I'm not the only one. I think you're the key to helping them. Those smiles, I've seen that before. It's him, the Joker. We'll find a cure, Henry. We're in danger, Batman. You can't risk that kind of evil escaping into the world. You should kill them. All of them. It's the only way to be sure. That's all for now, Henry. Interview over. Mrs. Q, this is Mr. J. Come in. Over. Read me a lot of clear, Mr. J. My infiltration remains utterly flawless. Operation Pudding Break is a go. Yippee! How are my babies? They're in rude health, my dear. All dying to meet Mommy. Now, you remember the plan, don't you? Yeah. I don't really want to hit you over the head, though. It's gonna hurt. We've been over this, my little knuckle duster. It's the only way to convince Batman that I'm to be trusted. You do want to kill him, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, have to dash. Bird Boy's coming. See you soon. Mr. J, over and out. Patient notes. Gordon, Barbara, session one. Wake up, Miss Gordon. Wake up. Injector. Another dose. I'm awake, you bastard. Good. Who is that man? Ask him when he gets here. Thank you, Miss Gordon. I was afraid that my preferred interrogation method would not be necessary. Do you know why I wear these syringes on my hand? Because you're insane? I usually disperse my toxin as an aerosol. It's efficient, but not pure. Now the terror I can elicit with a concentrated dose administered directly into the bloodstream, that is beautiful to witness. The long-term damage is more severe, of course. Are you done talking? I am, but you have barely begun. You'll be incoherent when my toxin dissolves the wall between your conscious mind and your suppressed subconscious nightmares. But as those fears slowly recede, they'll take this pathetic defiance with them. You're still talking. Very well. Get the hell away from her! Me 
me the good cop, bad cop routine. No, 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 no. So you're supposed to keep me talking. Play for time. Wait for Batman. That's what he taught you, right? I've got nothing to say to you. <laughs> me? I talked for hours. Because I knew, right? Batman was on his way to save me. And the bastard just let me talk. Eventually, I just ran out of things to say. So trust me. You can't count on Bruce to save you. Bruce? Sir. Sure. 